I love Maddie. I'd never do anything to hurt her. Before Jacob Elordi played Elvis in Sofia Coppola's period drama Priscilla, black hair and more eye makeup, he got his start in the Australian coming of age comedy Swinging Safari as pretty much your average high school kid in the 1970s. Oh, good day, Mrs. Marsh. Jacob's first big break came the same year in Netflix's hit romantic comedy The Kissing Booth. He played Noah, a bad boy who, despite his reputation for being a player, is protective of his younger brother's best friend, Elle, eventually falling in love with her after a blind kiss. You are the only girl who doesn't fall at my feet, and it is driving me crazy. He would go on to star in two sequels, struggling to maintain a long-distance relationship with Elle in The Kissing Booth 2, and they eventually parted ways amicably in The Kissing Booth 3. No, 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 I'll call you, okay? Sure, yeah, if you've got time. I've got time. Then he got his next big break as Nate Jacobs, an overtly masculine, sociopathic high school jock in the HBO series Euphoria. I know over the years you've lost some brain cells. I wouldn't want you to say something you might regret. He's certainly a villain. Angry, impulsive, abusive, you name it. But thanks to Jacob's performance, Nate is a complex, nuanced antagonist whose behavior stems from an unhealthy relationship with his father. You know what I think we have in common? We both get off on hurting other people. In addition to continuing his role on Euphoria, he also brings an air of mystery to the psychological thriller Saltburn. Well, why don't you come home with me? Come to Saltburn. Jacob Elordi's undeniable charm has come in handy in comedies, dramas, and romances, but with the flick of a switch, he can manifest a shocking, terrifying intensity in more cerebral projects. These qualities and many more make him a captivating talent in anything he does.